Hi everyone and welcome to this lazy yin yoga routine for when you're feeling unmotivated. First of all, well done for even considering a YouTube yoga video even though you are feeling lazy and unmotivated. The hardest part is over now that you've made it here. This will be a nice chill yin yoga session. It's not going to require too much energy or strength. We're just going to relax and get into the body. You might need a yoga block or a cushion for this routine, so you can grab that if needed. And if you are ready to begin, let's start in child's pose. You can come into whichever version works best for you. The knees can be together or they can be wider apart. If you do have and need that cushion or yoga block, you can put it in underneath your hips. Now the forehead will come down towards the mat. If it doesn't make it, you can rest it onto your hands. And if you're not using your hands, they can come to rest next to your feet with the palms facing up. We'll be here for three minutes in total. So find whatever works for you. Close your eyes and just start to drop deeper and deeper into your world. Each breath in taking you deeper into your body and each breath out sinking you even deeper into the mat. We'll be here for one more minute, so you might just take your mind on a little tour of your body, finding those sensations you feel, and if you feel any tension, just take the time to slowly unravel it, breathe into it, and exhale to get it out of your body. You can slowly start to release the pose now, bringing your fingertips towards the mat and gradually lifting yourself back up. Now you can take your time to do so, but when you're ready, you can come to lie on the back of your body. Resting for a moment in corpse pose, allowing the arms and legs to take up as much space as they need. Palms are facing up. And just feel gravity like a blanket here, gently pressing you into the earth. Slowly opening up all of your muscles. From here we'll come into reclined butterfly pose by bringing the soles of the feet together. Not forcing the knees down here, gravity will do that. The further away you have your feet from you, the less intense this will be, so you can find a position that works for you. 
We will be here for three minutes. Find your breath. If your mind starts to think of things, just tell yourself that you can think about those things later and encourage your mind to come back here to follow your breath. And maybe even to tour your body, finding those pockets of tension. And just give it the little challenge or task to undo that tension. You can prepare to release the pose by bringing a little bit of movement back. Eventually bringing your knees back beside each other. And we'll release with some windshield wipers so the feet can be mat with distance apart. And drop both knees to one side. Inhale to pick them up and exhale to drop them to the opposite side. And we'll do that a few more times, moving to the pace of your breath. Our next pose is banana pose. So you can bring your hands onto your hips and then step both feet into the bottom left corner of your mat. Keeping your hips centered, we'll pick up the head and shoulders and walk it into the top left corner of your mat. So you've created this banana shape with your body. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can bring your arms up past your head. You can cross your ankles and maybe you can bring your right wrist into your left hand and very gently pull the arm away with your left hand. We'll be here in banana pose for three minutes, feeling that subtle opening all through the right side of your body.
Use your breath to intensify each stretch. And once again, if your mind starts thinking, occupied with your body and with your breath. It's time for us to slowly transition to the other side now. So you can bring your hands back to your hips just to give your arms a little bit of a break. Slowly walk both feet into the bottom right corner. Pick up your head and shoulders and bring them to the top right corner. Hips stay in the center. Arms might come past the head. You might cross your ankles and this time you might hold your left wrist with your right hand. Engage yourself with the left side of your body and we'll be here for three minutes. It's time for us now to slowly come back to center. When you are there, you might crave some windshield wipers again, or you can bring your knees towards your chest, wrap your arms around your legs, and give yourself a little squeeze here, releasing the lower back and the hips. When you're ready to do so, we'll come into our next pose, which is a reclined twist. So your knees can come towards your chest, arms come out wide, left to right with the palms facing down. The first option is to gently drop both knees over towards the left. Wherever we are, we want to make sure we can keep both of our shoulders connected to the mat. Now, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can first wrap your right leg around the left, maybe creating one or two twists within your legs. And then from there, you're dropping both knees over to the left, stacking your hips on top of each other so your right hip is over the left. And same thing here, we need to keep both of our shoulders on the mat. If you want to go deeper, you can look over towards your right hand. And we'll be here in this twisted pose for three minutes, creating that nice gentle twist for your spine, helping to release tension. 
your breath and gravity is doing all of the work. And the more you can keep your mind with your body, the more of a physical benefit the body is going to feel. If your arms and hands are starting to feel numb or if you're feeling any pins and needles sensation, then you can just lower the hand, bring it closer to the body. Taking three more breaths in this twist. And now we'll start to come back to center, slowly unraveling, maybe resting for a moment on your back, knees might rest against each other, and just feeling the difference that you feel within the two sides. We'll repeat on the opposite side, so the arms come out wide again, knees come towards the chest, either drop both knees to the right or wrap your left leg around your right, stack the hips and bring both knees to the right. Keep both shoulders connected to the floor. And if you want to go deeper, you can look over to the left. Making sure the mind is still riding the breath. Your thoughts are just with the sensations you feel. Take three more breaths. And now we'll start to bring ourselves back to center. Tuning into the body and seeing what it's craving. You might want to do some windshield wipers. Maybe you want to hug your knees to your chest again. You might be happy just to rest with your knees against each other. And once you have released 
Any last bits of tension, you can make your way into Shavasana pose. Allowing the feet and arms to take up as much space as they need. Palms are facing up. And once again, feeling that big fluffy blanket of gravity just falling over you. Pressing your body gently into the floor. Opening and stretching your muscles. We'll stay here for three minutes. So you might tour from your feet all the way up into your jaw, making sure everything is relaxed. Connect to your breath. And we'll stay here, allowing the body to just bathe in this rejuvenating energy. You can start to bring a little bit of movement back to your body. Slowly coming to lie on the right side. And just landing here, pausing whatever way you've landed. Finding your breath. And really honour and thank yourself for coming and doing this yoga practice. Even though you felt lazy, you felt unmotivated. You've done it now. You've achieved something really great. And your body is thanking you. Now trying to keep your awareness inward, you can slowly lift yourself back up into a seat. And once you're there, finding a straight-ish spine, relaxing your shoulders down and away. Maybe keeping your eyes closed or just relaxing your gaze. We'll take three more big breaths in and out.
when you're ready to do so, you can slowly open up the eyes again. Thank you so much for joining me for this routine. I hope you found it beneficial. If you liked this video, please leave it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channels as well. It really does support me in making this content. And if you would like to explore more content and some longer yoga practices, then I do that all inside of my YouTube membership. You can learn more by clicking the join button below this video. So I will see you again soon on the mat. Until then, take good care and goodbye.